Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them, because they change things. They push the human race forward. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. <laughs> okay. Stop sharing. All right. Good day, everybody. Yeah, that was Steve Jobs. I know. I know Mark's played that before, because um, he loves it, and I think it. Uh, I think it was great. I think it's great. Um, and being uh, being an entrepreneur, I find we're just we're just square pegs all the time. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else experiences that, but whenever somebody asks me what it is I do, or uh, or I have to tell somebody, or uh, I don't have a, a just a regular answer, like I work here or I do this, or I even live here. I mean, I've lived in thirty countries. <laughs> and so people ask me where I'm from is even a hard question. But when people ask, uh, what, what do you do? You know, I, I, I don't I don't know what to tell them based on uh, at what point they ask me that <laughs> question on what day it is. Whatever. I'll give a different answer because I do many things. And I always tell people uh, I'm an entrepreneur. That's the easiest thing to say. But like you can't you can't tell somebody at immigration or, or customs that what do you do? Oh, I'm an entrepreneur. That doesn't work for them either. It's like, oh, I work for Home Depot. You know, that's what they want to hear. <laughs> Something yeah, like that. Fast. Something they can understand. But like, I don't tell people that I do online marketing or marketing that just, you know, as far as like official people, customs and that. I Online marketing, what is that? You know? <laughs> um, so that's another reason why I like life wave i just tell people uh, i sell stem cell patches right now that's will be my official uh, official thing but so yeah i don't know if you guys felt feel that way but uh i feel that way talking to everybody family friends whatever unless they're also entrepreneurs uh, it's like you know i have a hard time trying to explain like the lifestyle so but those are the people that make a difference you know like steve jobs did you know he's yeah. crazy Anyway, I don't know what you guys think. You, uh, do you feel that way, Potato? You like you've had sort of a regular career with horses and, and that. Whether so at least you can identify with that, people can identify with that. Yeah, I've been here where I live now for almost fifty years. Wow! And I've been breeding the Arab shagas and so forth, and that's all I do. But I've I've had fun at it. I enjoy it. Cool. So yeah, so yeah, you can identify that, and if people ask you what you do, you can you can tell. In 1982, I started. I organized Worldwide Endurance Association in uh, in, in FEI. Prince Philip and his bunch charged over and tried to take over everything, and we fought for three years. Finally, I quit because uh, you can't fight City Hall, you know. Right. And now it's all over the world. I organized the first world championships, first and the second world championships. I organized and it was uh, that was back in '83 and '84. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, you must have a lot of followers and people that follow your 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 videos and your, your your trainings and all that so you know you know what i've been seeing a lot of lately which i really like is um people have been doing videos and a lot of people have been doing these um uh podcasts and you know the podcast looks like a new show you know they'll have a background like in the background like what do you call that 
Tamara, like you have <laughs> the, uh, yeah. the green screen thing. Right. And it, it really looks like a newscast. It looks like it would be, you know, NBC or whatever, NBC News or whatever. Yeah. And it's just someone in their, their kitchen with a backdrop. And it's been great. Those have been great. And but what I like about them is, is what has changed is they'll always do like a little infomercial in the middle saying, this is our sponsors, you know, whether it's life way patches stem cell patches and you know please go and check them out because they're they're the ones that are contributing to being able to do this show and 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 that's kind of cool you know that's you know and then people will go check it out because they're they're they like your content and what you're talking about and and nobody minds it like like in the days of tv when you know the news broadcast would be paused for Commercial. A commercial break or whatever. Yeah, we got a pause for our sponsors and a commercial break. I exactly the same idea. So, so I see a lot of that lately. Cool. Yeah, because I think they do really well um, um, that way. And, and, and it doesn't always have to be the same sponsor. One time it could be stem cell patches. The other time it could be something else, you know, coffee. <laughs> I notice that a lot too. Coffee or gold, a lot of people are, are, are promoting that too. So, so. Um, wow. and have you, have you used uh, LinkedIn, Tamara? Um, for prospects? Not regularly, no. Back yeah. when Mark was teaching how to like post something and then boost everybody else's post by commenting and right. everybody yeah. doing the same, you know, then. Um, since then, I've gone in there once in a while, just mainly focused on Facebook. Um, but yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah, me too. That works very well on Facebook and noticing that building. Even even each of us commenting on our, our posts, mm -hmm. each other's posts, um, things are starting, the algorithms are starting to kick in for Facebook. So now a lot of people are starting to see my stuff. And, and, and also what happens is, if if we comment on our, like if I comment on your post, Mara, then then even the people that you're speaking to in your audience on your you know friends list is are all are also seeing that. So then then it starts yeah. to broaden that you know it all starts right. to to broaden that out and 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 so I'm really starting to see that happening since. And then we were talking yesterday, and I think it's true. You can't just you can't just give a thumbs up to somebody. You have to, you know, I've heard that before too. I heard a heart symbol works better than the thumbs up. And Brady was saying yesterday that the little hugging. Yeah, the, the other emojis are, are more powerful than the thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, because that's what everyone uses the, all the time. Yeah, yeah, you know, like, the, care, the care one. If you give a care one, then, then it, it hits the algorithms more. So you do a care one and then you put a comment. comment on the on the post and that really yeah. start and that for sure because then when i in my feed that's all i see are people that are that i've done that to um, you know you know out of the 1500 facebook people that i have um <laughs> you're only seeing a dozen <laughs> a dozen posts or a couple dozen posts you know <laughs> so yeah. But uh, I would really like to explore lower to the LinkedIn because I, I, you know, I have an account, but I've never, they were talking last night in the meeting about how to build up uh, your friends list on, on LinkedIn. And that was, a, that looked like a great strategy. So we should, we should go uh, over that again. I'll, I'll, I'll dig into it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, um, then the, um, like once you start doing that, then you don't have to do anything else because people are seeing seeing your content and 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 that your content is what's doing the uh, uh, the talking. You don't have to do the talking. You just you know have to make some posts regularly. Hey D, good morning. You were on the call last night, right? Yeah, I was. Good morning, good morning everybody. So, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry, I got you in there. They said somebody in the background's waiting and we're not going to let them in. Did you, did you hear that? I didn't you hear had, that part. I was probably the one in the background waiting. You were, and you had some <laughs> other name on your, uh, that, that. Yeah, I, that's yeah. That's why. And, I, and even today, like, I'm not even logged in. So I, I really don't, I don't, I don't know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, because it shows up when you log in here too. It's a different name. Yeah. 
And so I, Mark wasn't going to let you in. And I said, just let uh, them in and we'll, we'll, we'll beat on them and interrogate them. And it was they, me. <laughs> until they give up. And they were just ready to, to, oh, this person is like not responding. And they were, we were ready to pounce on you. And then all of a sudden you turn your video on. I told yeah. you. It was her. <laughs> Thank you, Don. I appreciate that because yeah. I, I'm not even logged into Zoom, so I really don't know what is going on. But wow, why it gives a different name? Maybe you yeah. have that name set up in your uh, in your settings. No, but it, do you I'm even know trying. that name? What name was it? It was no Brandy. Rosemary. I, I no, mean, no, I've remember. seen it enough. It's Brandy Ogliero. Yeah, Brandy. <laughs> But I don't know, like even today when I logged in, I was like, what's going on? So I went through the app to, which is how I'm watching to settings. It takes you, you know, out of the app and onto the web. And I wasn't even logged in. So I'm like, okay. And then when I log in, it's my account. Right. So, wow. And you know, I, I'd sort I that no out because yeah, Mark won't let you in unless he knows who you recognize as your name. Right. So, um, so you have to send him a message beforehand yeah okay good <laughs> so, to know thank you so anyway maybe that was i'll good, log in first <laughs> yeah that was a good meeting especially the after hours party mm -hmm. and that was fun and did you catch the linkedin prospecting or linkedin building your audience on linkedin that was the yeah. best part of the whole night yeah that was uh yeah that was really insightful and i was wondering if do, do either or any of you guys use instagram at all uh, no, but I, I think no. that's more or just as important as LinkedIn, maybe the most important thing because everyone's using Instagram now and TikTok. Yeah, I'm an Instagram user. Uh -huh. um, I mean, I use, I use, I, you know, from all the trainings, right, Tamar, that he's given us, we use all the platforms, right? Like even yeah. a little bit. And so um, even Pinterest, like I've started trying to go back in there and share like little clips and stuff, because I remember from one of those trainings, you got to do this to get the, the kind. Right. And so, um, so on Instagram, they have like in Facebook, they have like, they have the stories, you know, on top, but then they also have this recommendations based on similar interests or people, you know, and it's usually these little face bubbles. And so based on what Mark was saying last night about going through LinkedIn and just doing the connections because of however you're connected, I was wondering if that technique would be just as effective, you know, Definitely. you think so. It should be, right? Why not? Yeah, because Mark talked about last night and uh, what, well, I, I, it wasn't recorded. It's too bad because I want maybe we can go over it again. But yeah, uh, like you're talking about going and making friends with people who had to have uh, the like minded interest, you know, so mm -hmm. not just anybody, but I got uh, it recorded. Sir, you got it recorded? I recorded. Yeah. Okay, cool. If you could find that clip about the whole LinkedIn thing. Or, uh, yeah, LinkedIn thing. I'll, I'll pull it out. Oh, wow. And so D, do you know how to uh, how to build your friends list on Instagram then? Um, not Instagram. I'm, I haven't really gotten in there or other than when we did the training. Did okay. All yeah, T, I mean D. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, well, there's lots of different strategies that um, that some Instagram influencers use and one of the one of the um one of the fastest ways is like what you guys do on tiktok with the like paying somebody to sponsor your post or something like a page and that's usually like one of the right now on instagram that is one of the most popular and most effective ways okay. to boost your like it's better than you know regular paid ads almost because some of these pages will have, you know, thousands and thousands of followers per hour interacting, engaging, not just like seeing it, but actually yeah. engaging. So um, that's the that's the thing. And then as far as followers, like people really do just hop on like I hopped on a live and I just um, followed a couple of people from the live and said a couple like encouraging things. And whoever was in the live just started following me. So it's really weird, you know, but I, I and I have a lot of um friend requests on my private page because you know you watch the lives and I forget which page I'm on and I don't accept people on my private page because my kids are there and I have adult children that are out in the world that I'm really fearful for because of the crazy stuff that I get messaged so I don't do that but um but it's so easy like you can just people literally will follow you back like it's almost like the old days when if I follow you you just follow me yeah. back people do that yeah and they then still do that 
yeah mm -hmm. and then like with the twitter thing you guys just unfollow them if they unfollow you after you know so many days or whatever yeah. same thing because it's still the younger people that are using it yeah just like tiktok yeah yeah that's what we were doing on tiktok same as same as twitter i don't really use twitter anymore which it would be but which it would be make sense to but um because uh twitter kind of changed their whole thing that's why we stopped doing what we're doing on twitter but on tiktok it works and on facebook it works that you just uh, follow people and they follow you back you know and you build up your your, your list that way yeah and there used to be follow parties that they were awesome on tiktok and they kind of disappeared but you would you would log on to a uh a TikTok live and it was just like this going like this have you ever been on one it was great and everybody would been just on come one. In and follow each other and it would just be come yeah. on okay you follow him you follow him you follow him yeah. and you just build up followers it wow great. it was so much fun and we'd go on for like half an hour or something you know and then they nice. do another one <laughs> that was great but I don't know what they did to that they put a stop to that but that was that was super fun <laughs> <laughs> sounds then, like it because mark did the training where you can get ten thousand followers in 10 days or one week or something like that hey i finally no. have over a thousand followers yeah cool. yeah he really right on. quick <laughs> yeah, so that's cool so the yeah. big difference between instagram and social media and linkedin uh then facebook when you do a post for facebook or a live it's only the people you know that see the stuff um your friends and and people that you're friends with you might not know them but on tiktok it goes out to ten thousand people that don't know who you are and uh and well on facebook and on instagram you can watch strangers lives like there's an option where you can just go to the lives tab and they'll just show you whoever's live and the okay. same thing on Instagram. If you're on, if you're on a live, if you're watching a live stream and it ends, it'll tell you the live stream had ended. But then on the bottom, it'll show you lives that are still going on. So you still have the option always to like follow some random person. And so they are trying to think keep that because that's a huge competitive thing. Like you can't take that on on one platform and not offer it on the others. Marketers are going to need mm -hmm. that, so they're not going to want you know. So you know Facebook definitely, and since they own Instagram. Whatever you can do on Facebook, you can definitely do. And if some other platform is doing it, I think we were talking about this the other day, Facebook's going to pick it up and they're going to do it too. Right, right. So, yeah. So you, you're saying that if you do a Facebook Live, other people that are not on your friends list will see it? They can. Okay. Yeah, if your page isn't private, they can. Okay. Yeah, because there's a tab of, for Lives. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah, and so you can like, see um, Tom Speed's doing uh, lives on TikTok. He's getting 20, 30,000 people tuning in um, for and he he just rambles on for like an hour because he knows he's just getting more and more people. So he'll just talk about whatever for an hour or more, however long he has the time to and he'll just talk. And he yeah. also said the crazy thing is that um, he can see uh, the amount of followers that are watching live on TikTok. And then he, he can see how many people are going to his page and opting in, like in real time. He's getting oh, ding, wow. ding, people are opting in, right? And he says, as soon as he starts seeing people drop off, he'll go and flex his muscles. <laughs> and he'll, <laughs> it'll start to go he'll back up, up again. again. Right so on. That's why he does that. He does it intentionally. Yeah. All he'll do this. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? So, yes. Uh, yeah, because you can see those numbers like live. So. so Don, do you do lives? I, I don't. So I, no. yeah, I will start. I will start looking into that. Because um, you're yeah. a manager. So what what do you what helped you to get to manager? Do you think? Uh, I'm just just a regular meat and potatoes eating your vegetables, just talking okay. to people. And, okay. and I don't know why we always talk about it. And everybody says the, the no's are a big deal, getting no's from people. I, I've talked to other people that don't have that issue. I think you said that tomorrow. I don't have problems with no's, getting no's from people. It's yeah, more, me either. It, for me, the hardest part and the reason for this kickstart is being focused and consistent every day. You know, okay. just to say, okay, I'm going to talk to one person today that's it you know and if you do that for 30 days straight you've talked to 30 people in a week in a month and right, that's right. to me the most important thing over anything and so if you talk to 30 people in a month 
you're going to get a few people that are interested, you know, so that's right, all I'm right. doing. And then the following up and all that stuff's all important. So if you talk to 30 people and don't follow up with anybody, then yeah, you're not going to get anywhere, but. Right. So, so that's it. But I do want to build up everything else and, and maybe we could even stream this live. I thought about that, but <laughs> we can talk about that later, you know, but, um, that would be an option. Cause there's always that option when you start a zoom meeting, you want to right. stream this live. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So, because I, <laughs> I think if we bring more people to this call, just to just to talk about stuff, you know, yeah, stuff that's uh, that's cool. That is cool. And so, yeah. did you talk to most of your people in person or online? No, online. Yes. Oh, okay. Talk to them online. So you're were you a were I know that were you an affiliate marketer before? I've done many different programs before no i've never done affiliate marketing i've only oh, built okay. uh, uh network marketing companies online and i've done quite a few of them and but i never really focused on it because my background is i i design sound systems recording studios oh, okay. and 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 big big multi-million dollar projects museums visitor centers and that's what i did in canada so and around the world so i would i would leave here in las cobbles and go and do a project for three or four months an installation project and oh, okay. just just now in the last two years i've decided i, I don't want to go anywhere anymore i don't right. want to have to go and travel and, and live somewhere so i'm really focused on building this income up so so i don't have to do that and that's that's so important to me so I've never, I, you know, even though I've been working on this for, for years, different companies, I've never really put the commitment and the time and, and focus into one thing. So, but so, and I'm really happy with these, this product and the, and the company and, and that's, that's inspiring, right? Yeah. And, and our group here, our group here is great too. So that's, that's important. And you promote just the X39 primarily? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we talked about that last night too. I, I, yeah. I agree with that. Start with something, and then the rest will, people will ask about it or, or, or whatever. But I'm just, I'm just talking. But otherwise, it gets too confusing. I find okay. just talk about. And the X39 is enhanced, or the X39 enhances any other patch that you're using at the time, mm. anyway. So yeah. that's the benefit of that, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, right on. I'm talking about that. But then the question is. There's so many different angles to to promote the the stem cell patch. Do you have pain? For me, it's joints, stiffness, and soreness. And uh, someone was commenting on inflammation this morning, and that's true. That's what it is for me too. Inflammation. That's where you get the pain in your joints. It's from inflammation. So. But you do use all of the patches anyway. Yes. Are you primarily? And okay. I'm getting the energy enhancer patches like. Hopefully this week. I've never tried them. And I heard oh, that. I wanted to tell you guys about that, and I forgot. <laughs> Remember, um, Doctor Karen? She had shared in a video that I think Tina shared recently about using patches and protocols and stuff. Mm -hmm. And one of them was about like, um, you know, symptoms of pain and people like saying they're having these migraine symptoms and stuff like that. And she said that it was really about blockages. And so you put like the patches on and she basically had said like the YH ones. Mm -hmm. And um, because you're always using your X39, but like the YH ones. And she said that, of course, what they're doing is because you put them at the acupuncture points, they're helping to move that energy and so I tried it because I was doing a three day water fast. And so by day three, I had like the kind of headache, you know, day three is always the junk day. And, uh, and so I tried it with the Eon and I did the energy oh, patches man. and I did the glutathione and I felt the energy come through and it helped to lighten my migraine. And I just thought that is so exciting, you know, and I just wanted to tell you guys about that, but I forgot yeah. yesterday. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so the energy patches, I definitely think, and she said you could even do it with the ice wave because it has the, the tan and the white. You can use those as well, but the energy patches is what I use, so. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, always hearing good stories about, and that's the other exciting thing, to hear good stories from people about using them. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Okay, we got about three minutes left. Somebody got something they wanted share with us that's uh 
that they just have to get out. Welcome, Rosemary and Betty. That's good to see you guys today. Hello, everyone. My name yeah. is Rosemary, as you can see here. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm relatively new, but signed up and started taking my patches uh, about two, three months ago. Okay. And then life happened and there was a move and all sorts of stuff going on. So I haven't been regular on here and okay. I'm now trying to catch up. And actually this was very interesting because I have been doing some stuff with LinkedIn, Instagram with my own business. Cool. And I'd like to be able to incorporate some of this now once I get used to it and um, yeah. I guess get an idea of just how effective it is for me and all that sort of stuff. So cool. still trying to catch up. Yeah, that's awesome. And just, uh, yeah, that's why we're doing this every day. It's just a regular thing. And that's why we cut it after 30 minutes, which is we got two minutes left just so we can sort of get on with our day or and get, get some work done. <laughs> thank you i'm trying to be on here more regularly okay awesome rosemary take care all right potato you got something to jump in with you look like you're ready. okay cool i was just i saw some notes up there that uh tamra has been busy yeah posting i could see the notes show up <laughs> <laughs> so it's good you're on that chat yeah get on the love boat chat in messenger if you're on or if not on it already send a message to somebody and then uh, we'll get you on there because that's where all the uh that's I just cool. put them in the chat. Um, okay. Potato and Margaret Pope. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's where all the communication usually happens in real yeah. time. So, so that's cool. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and I'll add some people to that too. Cool. Okay. Well, we'll say goodbye for today. Awesome seeing Thank everybody. you, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Go, Have a great go, day. Go feed Bye, the on. Go feed the horses. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye, bottles and bonds. Better whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Great seeing you. Have a productive day. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye. Thank you.